Thank you for joining us here on ClickToHouston.com. I'm meteorologist Bruno Merwin, and you can feel the humidity outside. Still going to be a warm day in the low 80s, but we could see a chance of a pop-up shower. We have a front sitting right over us, so we'll keep it a 20% chance of an isolated shower, but the majority of you will just have a little heat and humidity for today. There's a look at that front sitting right over southeast Texas, our future cast model popping up that isolated chance for a pop-up shower throughout the afternoon and also into the overnight and early tomorrow morning. This is a look at the morning rush tomorrow. Could see a light sprinkle across town, but our rain chances will be going up Thursday afternoon thanks to a little bit of sunshine peeking through the clouds. So isolated to scattered showers in the forecast for Thursday afternoon, and then we're actually going to ramp it up on Friday. As a second cold front is moving in from the north, that's going to increase our rain chances specifically for Friday afternoon and evening into early Saturday morning. It's not until Saturday afternoon that we start to pull in the dry air. Cooler conditions, and then we're looking at a gorgeous rebound for the rest of the weekend. So how much rain are we talking here? Well, today maybe a trace, not a lot going on. This is what we're expecting into Thursday, maybe a quarter to a half an inch of rain. Most of it is going to be during the day on Friday, specifically Friday afternoon into Saturday morning. We have the potential of one to two inches of rain in our area, so not a flooding concern, but definitely a good dousing of beneficial rainfall. Unfortunately, the situation along the Texas and Louisiana border is not going to be improving. At last check, the Sabine River was at 7.4 feet. It is forecasted to crest at 7.5 feet, so extremely close to that cresting mark, and that crest is going to be happening later tonight. Even though we are talking about the crest of the river, we're expecting major flooding to be continuing all throughout the weekend. So it looks like it is going to impact your traveling along Interstate 10, not only for today, but most likely through the weekend as well. Our local weather will expect to be warm and muggy today with a spot shower possible. But Thursday and Friday, temperatures generally in the 70s, a 30 to 50 percent chance of rainfall by the time we get into Friday. And then we'll clean things up for the second half of the weekend, Sunday being the first day of spring, and we'll be in the upper 60s, so cooler end to our weekend.